The path forward includes a lot of changes in our day-to-day -day lives. Social distancing made it harder to celebrate mom like we usually do, but it didn't prevent people from doing something special. Caitlin Knapp explains how a local family-owned business helped make this holiday one to remember. Different. That's the theme this year at Ritter's Garden and Gift. A different way of interacting with customers, a different way of delivering, and a different way of picking up those flowers for Mother's Day. So it's Mother's Day. It's the biggest day in the entire year. We look forward to this all season long. A day for our moms. It's like Christmas, but even better because it's about your mom. This year, things have changed for the plants. Different too is just like all the new varieties because every year there's always new colors, new styles, new, new flowers. And for the business. Just trying to keep everyone's space apart so the lines take a little bit longer. Um, trying to keep uh, everything like clean so it does take a little bit longer for them to get back to get up to the register for the next person. They also changed the way they interact with customers. I think we were a little bit in the past for a long time and so to go online and go curbside was a huge shift for us. Um, or we also have a table out front so we just set it there for them and then they can grab it and take them home with them as well. The changes, which may be hard for some. So I'm just grateful that people are still coming and still supporting us. Is the new normal for many. This year has been almost more spread out. Like people have been buying their Mother's Day gifts almost weeks in advance. We have a crazy amount of deliveries. I think we have over 65 deliveries today. Though each day is ever changing, one thing is the same. The experience at Ritter's. We want them to come and have a great time. Shop local and shop the heart because we are the heart of the community. Since curbside pickup has been a huge hit for the business, they said they'll continue to do it. Reporting in Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.